you got something to say, pal? <sighs> Have I got something to say? Yeah, you could say that, pal. I'm bored too, alright? I'm bored of spending eight hours of my life every bloody day standing next to this great big bloody door in a stupid bloody corridor on a stupid bloody battle station. And to top it all off, I've got nothing but a stupid bloody Scottish git like you to talk to. And all you ever do is say how bloody bored you are. Now what am I getting out of all this? Oh wait, I know this one. Eh? A feeling of honour and pride to be a part of this great majestic empire. Not quite. Um, a deep sense of satisfaction in the knowledge that you're doing a bloody good job? Oh, do me a favour. Well, it can't be the money. Of course it's not the... That's the bloke. Afternoon. That's you. The bloke I was telling you about. No! Serious? Jesus Christ. He doesn't he look the type? Uh-huh. Tell that to the banters. Attention! We are at attention, sir. Don't call me, sir. I work for a living by all. You will address me as... Since when? Speak up, lovely boy. What were the words thou didst just utter? Um, I was just puzzling over your last comment, Satch. And which particular part of my last utteration did your tiny brain find so perplexing, boy all? The part about you working for a living, sir. As a matter of fact, Tripp and I were talking about this earlier. What exactly is it you do if you'll forgive my ignorance? I mean, as far as we can make out, albeit from our limited intelligence and poultry observations of your daily routine, your working day consists of one, shouting at us, two, shouting at the maintenance droids, three, shouting at the vending machine for giving your ring donuts instead of the ones with jam in the middle. Oh, and uh, don't forget the little naps he has in the supply cupboard. Oh, yeah, the wee supply room snoozes. How could we forget about that? If you ask me, you're a shining example of everything a stormtrooper should be. Disciplined, vigilant, and not a dollop of spilt jam anywhere. 